I like Susan Sontag's description. The photographer is an armed version of the solitary walker. But we're not armed for violence. We are armed for exploration. I was introduced to the X-Series through a 35mm field of view. This was back in 2011 with the original X100. It's a camera that's a milestone in my journey as a photographer for many reasons. But that fixed 23mm 35 equivalent lens was a big part of it because it became your eye. You had nowhere else to go. I think this essentially came to define Fujifilm cameras for me and the way I would use them, not just for work eventually, but to absorb and to understand life in general, wherever I'd find myself. Later on, I added the 23 Mark I to the X-Series, and now we have the Mark II. It's a complete redesign that builds on the quality of the original. Faster, quieter, and now with weather resistance as well. Cameras are tools, lenses are tools, and yet they sometimes transcend those boundaries. I've captured so much at this focal length, it's like the song of our lives, really. Lives in constant transformation, like the beating heart of a city. When I'm shooting street or any other type of documentary photography, my main setup is always the same. I use aperture priority, the camera is set to auto ISO, and the shutter type to MS plus ES. This means I'm constantly thinking about depth of field as I walk around. If something catches my eye, my first thought is how much background separation do I want? How deep do I go? It obviously needs to happen very quickly, but it does become instinctive, I think. F8, F4, F1.4. You start anticipating what the scene will require. And it's an important choice because ultimately this is how we guide the viewer. Our decisions provide clues to decipher the code. But beyond the technical lies the truth we are seeking. My images changed at some point. I'm not sure when. It happened slowly over time. They moved from an examination of the collective to something that's almost an expression of solitude. And it wasn't conscious. I just slowly found myself drawn to stillness, to empty spaces and a certain form of anonymity. As if my eye needed tranquility, a center on which to anchor my thoughts. I don't know why, but what I do know is that our photography is bound to the person we are at the moment of capture. Our hopes, our fears, all of it. And we are in flux. Our world, our lives, our souls. <laughs> 